Well, this is an interesting paper known as OmniThink, Expanding Knowledge Boundaries in Machine Writing Through Thinking. Now, we as humans think, reflect and expand knowledge in phenomenal ways. And we want the same to be done for the large language models as well. Now, if you have worked with large language models, you're given a prompt to write a very long essay or an article on a very long, with very long context, you would come to see that there are many repetitions and redundancy which are being observed in the responses. So this paper is an attempt to remove that and to make it more conceptually correct, to make it more redundant free, reflect on it by multiple ways, multi-search, multi-reflect and multi-expand. So this is what they are trying in this paper. Now, as a matter of fact, vanilla retrieved information tend to lack depth, utility and suffers from redundancy. Now they propose OmniThink, a machine writing framework that emulates the human-like process of iterative expansion and reflection and they want to simulate the cognitive behavior of the learners. Now you can see that OmniThink expands the knowledge boundaries through continuous reflection and exploration, attaching knowledge to the information tree and extracting it from the conceptual pool to deepen understanding and uncover more in-depth content. Now if you see the blog post of GitHub here, so we have three contributions. So they propose a knowledge density metric defined as a ratio of meaningful unique content to the overall text length. So they want to assign more importance to the meaningful and unique content. High ensures efficient knowledge transfer and minimizing the reader's fatigue caused by redundancy. So this knowledge density matrix is a new metric they're putting forward to measure the ratio of meaningful content. They propose OmniThink, which is a new machine writing framework that emulates the human-like cognitive process of iterative expansion and reflection. The core idea behind OmniThink is to simulate the cognitive behavior of learners as they gradually deepen their understanding on complex topics to expand their knowledge boundaries. And the experimental results demonstrate that OmniThing enhances the knowledge density of generated articles without compromising key metrics such as coherence and depth. Now that's pretty interesting. Now this is the knowledge density matrix that they're talking about. And you can see from this picture, there are three sections. First is the information acquisition. This is to acquire diverse and comprehensive information. OmniThink emulates the human learning process, progressively deepening its understanding of the topics through the expansion and the reflection methods. The iterative process culminates in the construction of an information tree known as T in this case. And this organized to retrieve information in a structured and a hierarchical manner with all the sub subtopics and topics. And then ultimately a conceptual pool is formed which represents the LLM's current understanding of the topic at any time step M. Now together all these components form the foundation of the articles which is going to be generated. Next section is the outlining structure. In the previous section, OmniThink maintains a concept pool close, closely related to the topic, which essentially represents the boundaries and depth of the LLM understanding of the topic. Now, while generating the content outline, we first create an outline and then ask the LLM to refine and link the content from the pool P, ultimately forming the final output O in this case. And then the third step is the article composition. At this stage, the LLM works in parallel to write the content for each section. So while writing the content of the article, they use the titles of each section and their hierarchical structure to retrieve the most K or most relevant K documents from the information tree by calculating the semantic similarity. So this is the concept of OmniThink that, that, that they are putting forward and this is amazing. Now, if you go back and uh, discuss why this approach 
was necessary it's because early attempts that use rag or retrieval augmented generation to expand the knowledge in a given topic vanilla rag relies on a set of search strategies only and it means it's very limited and it's not able to expand to longer context when you ask it to write an essay or a long article now it makes it difficult to generate deep content and break through one's own knowledge boundaries but humans you can see they are naturally and you know that we are naturally good at avoiding pitfalls in the writing process this is for humans human writers continuously reflect on previously gathered information and personal experience allowing them to reorganize filter and refine through their cognitive framework this process prompts writers to iteratively adjust their writing direction and mental pathways ultimately allowing human authors to generate more profound nuanced and original content and this is what OmniThink is trying to copy from the humans now they have made this new model you have seen the steps here the three steps the first step is the information acquisition then we have the outline structuring and the article composition now let's look at the results section you can see that when we when you apply this omnithink principle in the gpt 40 backbones we can see that we get a very good score for relevance breadth depth and nobility of the generated content for quint plus as well we can see that in the depth and nobility it's pretty good so this is what it is and you can see that with deep think with respect to enr versus without you can see that it definitely uh, cause an expansion of the different breadths of information that it can generate now there are different studies that that has been done and you can see that this model provides an excellent way to generate longer content now you can add this to your repository of large language models which can generate very long and coherent essays or articles the code is provided as well again i will share the code as well i will share the link for this github page but the code is available you can go ahead and try there is this hosted platform as well and you can go ahead and try this so i have tried with this for the indian power sector and it was able to generate a pretty good replies and uh, coherent essays so i'll see you in the next one to learn about llama v01 which is an enhanced visual reasoning in llms you can check out this video otherwise feel free to go through all the other videos on my channel and i will see you in that video. Thank you and have a nice day.